question for you. Yes. Is this the most reliable truck you could buy today? Man, I think it might be. Welcome to Brake Check. I'm Brian, and this is the 2021 Chevy Trail Boss with a Realtree camo package that covers up the Trail Boss letters in the corner. Um, I was gonna get it out of the way real quick. This is a refreshing thing to drive, and I really wanna thank General Motors for providing a press vehicle that's not loaded past $70,000. This is packaged in a way that a lot of people can just go buy. And I wanna tell you some things right now that you do not get, which is partially why it's so refreshing. I have a list. No start-stop at stoplights. No cylinder deactivation. No leather. No center console. It has a physical key instead of a keyless go. No dime store power side steps that can break down the road. No lumbar seat adjustment. No seat adjusting at all except for front and back and recline. You can't go up and down or anything. No turbos. No lane keep assist. No radar cruise control. And absolutely no nonsense. I can't wait to get into this. Let's check it out. I'm Craig and it's uh, time for the interior. You might have noticed it's hard to see right here, but there's actually a handle. It's kind of camouflaged. You can't really see it. Um, in fact, it's actually Realtree Timber Edge. I'm wearing a Realtree Edge, a little different. Uh, depends on what type of year you want to go hunting. This is a good hunting vehicle if you want to go in the fall because there's not any greenage in that. See, mine has some greenage. It's more of a spring hunting camo. So, but that's enough about camo. We want to talk about the interior. Brian mentioned it earlier at the at the intro. This is a truck, and that's really what you get in here. You get you get vinyl you get vinyl floors that are easy to wash out. You get cloth seats. It's very simple. You get a a plastic steering wheel, no leather there. You don't even get radio buttons on the steering wheel. But you know what? It's kind of refreshing because some of the things you do get, you get the things you want. You get a two-speed four-wheel drive transfer case with the auto function. You get everything else that you're wanting in a truck, but nothing you don't want. And that's really what this truck's all about. And that's what we're gonna really tackle when we we'll get the dynamics. But before we do, uh, Brian may not have mentioned this at the beginning, but I want to point out, uh, back there it talks about you know, most trail bosses, it says trail boss on the back of the truck. Just like any good four-wheel drive vehicle, you have to know what it is, and the only way you can tell is on the back of the truck. This one doesn't have it at first glance. But what's really going on there is trail boss is still there. It's just hidden in the camouflage. That's how good Realtree is. With that, on the dynamics. All right, Brian. It's time for dynamics. I love it. Come on, real tree. What you got? So, the diff lock works. First off, very interesting. Because of the camo, you couldn't really tell we were doing a burnout. There. I had no idea. Yeah. And 70. That's more than 60. So that was pretty quick. Question, um, question for you. Yeah. Do you think on the radar from the cops, will they see it? Will it show up? No, what happens when radar hits the camo, uh -huh. it goes boop. And it comes, it's like a minivan, just like a minivan. Okay, so this is a really interesting truck. Tell us about a dynamics. Okay, so right dynamics, I'm gonna lay into mechanics first. Okay. This has the optional 5.3 Ecotec 3 V8. Over the 4.3 V6, Which tells right? you you can get a custom trim level trail boss with a V6. Right. How crazy is that? It's, it's hard to believe that motor's still around, which it's, it, they did redesign it a few they years did. ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 not, it's not that ancient, but the, I mean, the displacement hasn't changed in no, no. our lifetimes at all. True. So that's interesting. Yeah. But this does it the 5.3. You can get the 6.2, which we've driven in other reviews. Mm -hmm. Very uh, the, nice. The Yukon Denali and the Escalade. Great, great motor. Great motor. With a 10 speed. But this is actually not the 10 speed, Greg. It's the 8 speed. It's not the 8 speed. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> It's 2021, Brian. It is. What do you mean it's not the? Is there is there something is there something else? Six L eighty six B. Did you wait? Yep. Did you, yep. A minute ago you told me you get a V six. You now can. you're telling me you get a six B. So the V six comes with only the six speed auto, the five three V eight, and the custom trim comes with the six speed auto, <laughs> but the six two in the custom trim comes with the ten speed auto. Okay. Or if you get the LT trim not custom trim, Trail Boss with a 5.3, mm -hmm. it has the 8-speed. But 
That sounds very, I'm just going to say, that sounds archaic to me. Well, it kind but of is. how does that drive, what does that mean? Real world application, how's Look, it working? Well, let me we, tell you. We've had it for a few days now. Had it for a few days now. Look, you, I don't enjoy the 10-speed in Ford applications very often. Right. It, it hunts a lot. Mm-hmm. GM's programming with the 10-speed, and by the way, the 10-speed is co-developed between Ford and GM. Right. The GM is a little bit more calm, but it still will hunt a little bit. Mm-hmm. The six-speed never hunts, and it never feels like it's in the wrong gear. Huh. And we've driven kinda the Kind of like the old six-speeds in the Fords. Kind of like the old six-speeds in the Fords. Huh, they just like kind of work. wrong with them. It's like, is more more, is what I'm asking wait, you. Wait, 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 wait. Is more more. Is it really more? So are you telling me that even though the six-speed is not near a newer design, there's actually nothing wrong with it? There's nothing wrong with it, man. It's smooth. It gets off the line quick. Hmm. And at 70 miles an hour, it's under 2,000 RPM, just like the 10-speed. So, very simple. Six very, speed, simple. very simple. Love it. Yeah. You mentioned something about the five three or five five point three liter. Right. There's something really simple about this particular <laughs> five point three. Okay. Back to your reliability statement. Yeah. The modern LS has a history of some oiling problems and some misfire problems. If you have the multiple displacement system mm-hmm. MDS. Yeah. Pro- yeah. That's. I've heard a lot of problems about that. Right. Mopar has the same problem. Yeah. And what that means is where they will shut down certain cylinders. Mm-hmm. In fact, it can run as a V two. Or four or six or that eight. That sounds like it should be really good for mileage. Well, it does. It saves you one mile per gallon Wait. in the city only. The highway rating is no different. With just one. Right. But here's the good news. Huh. Because of the semiconductor shortage we're having with COVID. Yeah, that's a bad thing. That's a bad. Well, but in this case, they have given you $50 back and taken that system off the truck. <laughs> so that they can get it on the lot soon enough. And what that means is this is going to be freaking reliable. <laughs> wait, a, wait a minute. <laughs> so you're, you're telling me... Because of COVID, which right. is supposed to be bad for everything, right? We've well, somehow, and by and large, it is. Let's be clear, it's a pretty bad thing. Yes, yeah, yeah, I don't want to yeah. get any hate mail. But <laughs> because of that, uh, we've kind of, in a weird way, into a really reliable truck has landed in our laps. It has, yeah. And I'm and what, in the marketplace right now with a five three with no cylinder deactivation, right? And a six speed auto. There's only so much to go wrong. Like this and is a, so. Like we said in the intro. <laughs> There's nothing to it. No. Right? And let me tell you how refreshing this is. Look, I'm a hater. One of my complaints in a car is not having leather wrapped steering wheel. Uh-huh. I, it just doesn't bother me in this one. Like it, it's a, This is a truck. We could be driving for Terminex right now, and I wouldn't know the difference. But you know what? It's quiet. And okay. it's smooth. And it just does exactly what I think it should be doing at all times. Well, okay, so basically, we've got a simple, reliable, yeah, it's great. Real, a real truck. Exactly. Well, that's what Real Tree gets you. <laughs> real Tree has gotten you a real truck. So, is it real truck camo or real tree camo? So, let's talk about a little bit about the packages okay. because that is we don't want to miss that. Yeah. And so, you mentioned it's a custom, it's a trail right. boss. And what custom really means is a little bit cheaper, yep. and you get this grill that only a mother could love. It's the Chevy version of XL in the right. Ford world. Right. Right. Uh, except this, we get the Z seventy one package, then the then the trail boss, on and, top then, of that. and then the Real Tree on top of that. Right. So. What does Z71 get you? It basically means four-wheel drive, and usually you get different shocks, right. and a two-speed transfer case. Nowadays, that's really kind of what that means. Which is another thing to look out for, because General Motors will sneak in on you a four-wheel drive truck without a two-speed transfer without case. Without a low range, exactly. Which is hard to find. Right, but this Z71, one Z71, make sure you, that'll make sure you have it. Right. Okay, then tra- Trail Boss, on top of that, what does it get you? It gets you a two-inch lift all around. Mm-hmm. So it, it, this thing is tall, by the way. It is, yeah. And GMs are historically, compared to Fords and Dodges, seem to be riding a little bit lower. Good. Whether it's two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive. Sure. And they're usually softer sprung. This one sprung kind of like a Ford or Dodge. Like, Good. it feels not too stiff, but but stiff feels sportier. So you Good. get a two-inch lift, you get Rancho shocks all the way around, mm-hmm. and you get a Goodyear wheel and tire package. And, and skid plates. And skid plates, correct. You get additional skid plates. Additional, yeah. Right. right. Um, which is good. And then... But this is the real tree trail boss, Brian. So what right. is real tree? That's got to get you some performance stuff, right? For twenty five hundred dollars, okay, it gets you decals on both sides. Oh, de- stickers. Okay. Yeah, it hides the trail boss sticker. Yeah, and then it gives you a uh, horseshoe sticker on the hood. Okay, in the U shape. Okay, and it gets you side steps, which are actually pretty good side steps. It looks like there's some camo right here. Oh yeah, I keep losing the door handle, but yeah. it's here. I feel it, but yeah. I can't yeah. see it. It's right. there, and that's it. Oh, that's all it gets you for twenty five hundred dollars. Yeah. Oh. Something you do get with a custom over the LT. Mm-hmm. Oh, a bench seat. A bench seat. <laughs> so, which, okay. Which is a plus to me. I'm yeah, sorry. I'm with you. All right. Hipster score. Three, two, one. Two. One. Okay. Oh, where'd you okay. get? Okay. 
Um, I think I know why you're going to go two. I'm going to okay. guess. Number one, we both scored really low because it's almost a Raptor. And, yep. <laughs> and in case you weren't sure, it's got camo. Which right, yeah, right, I don't know right, why right. he likes camo. Okay. But had plaid back there, then you might be in business. There should be a plaid package. There should be a plaid package. Right. But here's the problem. I, I'm guessing you're, you're going to give us some points because it is so basic. Is that why? I'm going to tell you exactly. It's very simple. One, it's not a Raptor. That's a point. <laughs> and Apple Two Carplay. Apple CarPlay. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Okay. That's it. <laughs> but it almost might get some history points, though, for being so simple. I will say. I don't know, because it, it looks too garish. Okay. Yeah, that, right. I don't think it counts. All right. All right, Craig. You asked me who it was for. I know who it is. Oh, okay. Hey, Brian. 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 Hmm. Hey. Hey. Who's this car for? Sorry, who's this truck for? This is for people that like Raptors and Ram T-Rexes, but live in the real world. Mm. Oh, they actually have to buy it. Like, they have to pay for it. They have to park it. <laughs> to the maintain it. They have it. to buy tires for it. They have to put fuel <laughs> in it. All these things. This is what people actually want. And that's what Chevy has done. In fact, yeah. the ZR2 Silverado is pending, yes. which will be great. They're the yeah. third person in. I'm excited that it's showing up. <clears throat> I'm assuming it's a 6.2 supercharged V8, but no one knows yet. This is like kind of like the Ram Rebel. Mm-hmm. It has all the look. It has the, oh, oh this is the hunting version, right? Mm-hmm. I, I hunt, and it tells people that. Yeah. And it also has the... Well, I look like I'm ready to go to the off-road park, but, you know, it's still 50 grand. I'm actually going to go off-roading with it. <clears throat> right. It has a 265 tire in width instead of 315 like Raptors and right. TXs have. So you get better mileage. <laughs> right. And you actually, look, I've been driving like a monkey. I'm getting 17. And it's rated 13, 18. You're basically hitting that, driving like a monkey. By the way, I've hit over 21 with the cruise locked on 7. There you go. That, that says, look, EcoBoost don't do that. Okay, so which one would you get? The Ford XL STX oh, FX4. The Ram Tradesman with the off-road package, okay. or the Chevy Trail Boss. This is like asking which kid do you have to kill. This is not like a fair question to ask. But today, in this moment, right now, in this second, it'll change tomorrow. <laughs> it would be this without the camo and the step. I mean, this is going to be the most reliable out of all those. And by the way, it's easy to park. It's it's narrower than all of them. It really is. And that's the thing for me in the real world. Have you considered that it also might be for someone that goes to Walmart? Mm-hmm. They're in the hunting and fishing section, or they're in maybe an academy. You know, dove season starting. It's coming up, yeah. Um, they should sell these at Academy and Walmart. I'm well, just saying. I gotta let you know a secret, Craig. Okay. This isn't from GM. <laughs> I went to the Academy to buy a, a lawns chair and walked <sighs> out with this. Okay. I do think GM missed a mark. The big oversight I want to mention, and I'm good, and that is, I'm good job putting red tow hooks on the front because that way they work. Oh, I, okay. Yeah, that means they work. Yeah. But they could have really hit a home run. Like, I would almost I buy this truck this. if it had Hunter Orange tow hooks. You know, there's no option for that. That would be there's awesome. a miss, Mark. <laughs> All right, I think that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this Trail Bossy review. Just to sum up, all jokes aside, this is a great truck. Great I'm truck. Really pleased with it. Let us know if you think it's the most reliable truck you could buy today. And would you get the camo pocket package? Is it silly? Is it redneck hipster points? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. Thanks for watching. See you all next right, time. See you.